Hey, we're shaking. This is Sunny in the 419. I'm here at Terra Community College with Shanda. How you doing, Shanda? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing awesome. And uh, it's before it rains. It's, uh, we're going to talk about your October 1st event here at the, at the college. What's, yes. So what time does it start? 7 p.m. It's uh, Saturday, October 1st. I'm partnering with the, the mental health program here okay. and uh, going to put on somewhat of a vulnerable event. Oh, yeah, like. it yeah. sounds like it's going to be a good time. I heard you speak the other day. I, some of the guys, Mike told me, you know, Mike, the yeah, from the band guy. Yeah, yeah, he was telling me about it. But uh, uh, so talk about the mental health part of this. Uh, now you were you were you were kind of struggling through addiction through your life. How long how long was that going on? Uh, I was an addict about seven years. Seven years. Uh, wow. Yeah, when I got clean in 2014, it did not magically fix everything that was wrong with me no, mentally. No, it doesn't. I'm no. sure. No. What, what were you addicted to? Okay. Opiates. Okay. Opiates. I mean, there was alcohol, uh, ecstasy type substance, wow. pretty much everything except meth. Wow. So, wow. Yeah. So that was, that was a, that's intense. You know, yes. I, you know, for me especially, I, I've known some people who struggled as, as well through this things like that but never have myself so I it ain't like I can say I know what it's like right and I know you hear you hear, hear that a lot of from people oh I, I I know what it's like but they don't know it so they've done it themselves no I think that there are certain people that seek out extremes um, because they have extreme emotions and I just happen to be one of those people and in accepting my intensity I'm able to navigate through life and uh, right. basically substitute experiences so I no longer have to do heroin I just I really do get a rush from music now and the right. intensity of that and accepting that about myself has been huge now uh, I see you have a lot of followers on yeah. Facebook or you on Instagram too or just Facebook yeah uh, I'm on all of them you're on all of them like yeah. almost a million yeah. on one of them at least uh, yeah collectively so, so we're, you're, we're you're, there. A, you're a great influence to thousands and thousands of people how does that make you feel is that a lot of pressure on uh, yeah, you? yeah i was gonna say yeah it's it makes be. me feel highly responsible and uh i have to be consciously constantly conscious of how i interact in the world and how i'm growing and expanding as right. a person because i know that there are a lot of people that look to me for their own personal breakthroughs right. and people if I'm little older all, all ages all all ages but specifically women yeah. Lots of women, right. about 75% of them are women that are near my age and are having difficulty navigating life. And so, yeah, I know some people might not uh, feel as, as responsible about that, that path as I, I do. So, yes, it's a lot of pressure. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you know what? It's also probably a little bit of accountability. Would you Always. Think? Because Always. you think, okay, before I make this decision or before I take a picture of doing this or or whatever mm -hmm. I, I got thousands of people that are going to see this oh so it's a little bit of accountability too which I, is good yes for people coming through that yes any anything in life when you're held accountable by your friends or your peers is good i think it is uh the only time where it was extraordinarily difficult was in 2020 when i went through uh suicidal depression and there were still so many people looking up to me that I had to uphold like this um, certain way of being when I was interacting with them because, you know, these are people that are addicted to fentanyl. So oh if I'm showing that, hey, I'm not well, then, you know, they can't come to me for the same measure of help and support. But I learned through that to, to be more vulnerable and transparent, uh, obviously, uh, more so after I navigated that. Uh, but it makes it difficult when people are looking to you for uh, such heavy things yeah. that yeah. Uh, when I, you're going through heavy things, yes. you, you got to figure it out. Uh -huh. <laughs> so your music, when did you start doing dabbling in music? Is there always something you wrote? These some the songs you wrote yourself? Yeah. So uh, I started writing poetry at seven years old and didn't start making music until a little less than three years ago. Wow. So and then it was with the Ohio Recording wow, Company. That's... You know, that's really good. I like Fremont. I like your your style. Thank it's you. It's a little bit of rap, you know. Yes. I like that. But I look like I make rock music, so it's always the moments <laughs> keeping it interesting. <laughs> that's good stuff. So yeah. October first, right? Yes. What time? Seven p.m. And uh, I'll put the link on here where we can get some tickets and get some people out here. 
Yeah. Thanks a lot. It was good to it meet you. Thank you for doing you. this. So we'll see October 1st. Yes.